Hello everybody, what's going on today? Welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review. And today, we're going to take a look at Mia and Tia, the biggest fans of Lightning McQueen. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Mia and Tia were at the were one of the fans that attended the Dynaco 400 at the Motor Speedway of the South of the 2005 Piston Cup season, and met met Lightning, and after when and when Lightning when Lightning went missing, they became fans of Chick Hicks until after after. Chick had won the Piston Cup, and eventually they turned back towards Lightning's fans. And they also, and there were, and during the epilogue, they were briefly waitresses at Flo's V8 Cafe. And the following year, after the events of the Dynaco 400, the Radiator Springs Wreckage, and the Tiebreaker Race in the Radiator Springs Recommissioning, they took... They... They were challenged to a race which... by Sally, which they participated in her along with Flo. And Sally was declared the winner. And they and in another race they participated along with Lightning McQueen, Ramon, and Fillmore. And they also appeared in in Cars Tune. Mater's Tall Tales as fans of not only Lightning McQueen, but also Mater, who is the protagonist of his show, Mater's Tall Tales. And they even returned in Cars 2 during the Radiator Springs Grand Prix, which I think it shouldn't be confused with the one from 2006 that featured Lightning McQueen and Chick Hicks. And and they weren't seen again. And eventually, they weren't seen again in Cars Three. So it is unknown if there's still Lightning McQueen's fans or not, or if they got replaced by a small red car named Manny McGear and her mother Melissa Burnerbreak for Cars Three. So, so now let's get right into the review. So, here we've got their excited, impressed facial expressions with their eyelids on top to bottom, and their and their expressions saying "Ah." And there are headlights hidden underneath, and Lightning McQueen memorabilia on and tampos on their hoods and enamels, and their and 95 on their each of their side view mirrors, and on the side more more Lightning McQueen memorabilia with a. And with a lightning bolt on their windows, and a 95 on a lightning bolt on both sides of their doors, and another 95, another number 95 on their trunks, and the motto "Kachow" on their back windows, and their license plates, and their license, and we have their license plates. One says Mia. And another says Tia. 
and on the right side, same repeated design. And that is it. And now let's compare them to the other Mientias, although although these two are the Superfan Mia and Superfan Tia, which I got from the Piston Cup Race 11 pack. Here are the original oh, oh, Mia and Tia. Yeah. So, so as you can see, here's a difference. One of these two has a normal, fa friendly facial expression, well, the other, the other one out of the two, the superfan versions, have an, an, an impressed facial expression. So, on, here's another difference. Underneath, underneath, one of them says China, while the other one out of the two has Vietnam underneath. So I think we have a winner of the two Mia two versions of Mia and Tia. Yeah. These two you So let's compare So let's compare them to the other race fans. You got Manny McGear and his mom, Melissa Burnerbreak. Timothy Two Strokes. Matthew Matthew True Blue McCrew Christina Wheeland JW Todd the Pizza Planet Truck Vern the Taxi and Kid Rebster Sona. Oh, and I also want to mention that both of them are a 1992 Mazda MX-5 Miata, which are made by Mazda, which is a Japanese manufacturer. And let's com no, so now let's compare them to the other cars that are made by a Japanese manufacturer. Here we've got Shu Todoroki, who is a Toyota GT1. Kabuto, who is a Nissan Silvia S15. Wingo, who is a Mitsubishi Eclipse. And finally here we have DJ, who is a 2004 Scion XB, I believe. So, and that is pretty much it. So, what do you guys think? Which race fan is your favorite, and which car made by a Japanese manufacturer is your favorite also. So leave your thoughts in the comments down below and if you have enjoyed as well as leaving any suggestions for which car of the past should I review next. And if you have enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Goodbye now!